Hi there, I'm Dr. Stephen Phelan and welcome to my video channel. What I would like to do today is to talk about a product review. And the first product that I'd like to review for my video channel is Filtex Supreme Ultra. And I do have a fair amount of experience with this product even though it's a new product. I received it about a year ago from 3M to test out and have as a trial period before they released it to the general uh, dental population. And so I can show you some photos that are almost a year old. So almost one year post-op photos on a case that I did. So you'll get an idea of the uh the way it's holding up after about a year in service. And what I would like to say is that I definitely really liked Filtex Supreme Plus. It was essentially the go-to universal composite that I used in my practice for 95% of the restorations that I did. Um, however, when Filtex Supreme Ultra came along, I noticed that there were definite improvements over Filtex Supreme Plus, so I've basically switched to uh, that product in the last year. And what I'd like to do today is just talk about the different uh, improvements that I've seen with the uh, Filtex Supreme Ultra. And one of the main improvements that I've seen that I think is the best thing for us as restorative dentists is that it has an improved polish and apparently it has improved polish retention, which again, you need some long-term studies to see this. I have about almost a year post-op photos that I'll show you. But uh, with microfill composites, I have you know 12 year post-op photos on cases that show polish retention that's still excellent. Uh, what I will tell you is after a year in service, it looks almost like the polishability of a microfill. I know it polishes similar to a microfill as far as ease of polish and um, sheen of polish. And then basically time will tell whether or not it holds up as well as a microfill composite. But uh, I'll tell you that this is definitely a big improvement over a lot of hybrid composites that are out there on the market. And, you know, uh, this will uh, basically be the reason why I've used this as one of my main universal composites that I have in the practice. Another advantage of this uh, product over Filtex Supreme Plus are, uh, is an improved fluorescence. And if you look at this uh, photo that I'm going to show you, Basically, this is a, a, a tooth shape, a tooth form made out of Filtex Supreme Ultra and a cross section of a tooth. And this was done by Dr. Durante at Case Western Reserve University. And you can see the fluorescence is almost the same as a natural tooth, which will be very advantageous in different lighting for the patient's restorations to look natural, especially when you have part of the tooth in, in um, composite resin and part of the tooth being the tooth itself. Um, and if you ever get a chance, I'd recommend seeing Dr. Durante speak. I've seen a lot of his work uh, with the Filtex Supreme Ultra and its beautiful composite dentistry. So I think he would be a worthwhile speaker to see if you have the opportunity. Another nice advantage for our staff and for the ergonomics of practice is they've improved the color coding of the packaging. And if you look here, this is a little, um, a little stand that I've picked up from uh, Practicon. I'll show you this maybe in another video, but this stand's holding the various syringes of the Filtex Supreme Ultra. And if you look here, what I have are the different opacities, and this is the translucent syringe, and it's kind of a grayish white color, so it's very easy to see. And then the enamel syringe is kind of a light blue. The uh, body syringe is basically a normal blue, a regular blue, and then the the um, uh, dentin syringe is dark blue. So it's very easy to tell the different uh, different syringes that you're going to get, and they also have they have the uh, little. Um, uh, compules in little jars that are similar similar color coding as well or you can get the master's kit which I'll show you here this is the master's kit of Filtex Supreme Ultra and it has little wells or little you know holders that have the uh, the, the shade and the uh, opacity with color coding as well so color coding I think is a very helpful feature for this uh, product as far as uh, just helping our assistants and our staff know what what is what. So what I'd like to do now is just share with you a small little case that I did. As I said, I liked the uh, Filtex Supreme Ultra Enamel Shade for small incisal fractures. If you look at this case, the patient had three different incisal fractures and they were medium sized. So I was almost thinking I would use body and enamel shade for this case. But I thought, you know what? 
I'm testing this product out. I want to see how it actually works. And I liked the, I, the way the enamel shades looked. So I thought, I'm going to do this with one, one opacity of composite and one shade of composite. Basically, one compule of composite will do each of these restorations. And um, I decided to use uh, an enamel shade for this, uh, for this patient because the patient has a fair amount of incisal translucency. So if you look here, what I've done is I've actually placed some of the composite on the tooth before I did any preparation or bonding or anything just to cure it and see if I have the right shade. And I do this a lot of the time at the anterior portion of the mouth just to make sure that the shade is correct um, before I go in and I glare it and, <laughs> and bond it into place. This is a good quick way to just test it out, make sure that you like the shade before you go through all the trouble of bonding it into, into the patient's, uh, you know, onto the patient's tooth. And here are the preparations, you know, basically a, a, a slight bevel. I don't really like to prepare these types of uh, defects a lot. Um, I like to give them a little bit of a bevel and that's about it. And generally I do these without any local anesthetic. Um, then basically these are just some photos that show the, um, the uh, process of polishing the restorations. And in this case, I polished with uh, the Softflex XT discs. I like the XT discs because of the flexibility. I've always used the XT instead of the, um, the regular Softflex discs. And then I used um, uh, Flexi Buff and Renamel's Enamelize polishing paste, which I generally used on uh, microfill composites. So I wanted to polish this similar to what I would do on a microfill composite and then compare it over the years, uh, how it's maintaining its polish. And if you look here, these are the almost one year post-ops. They're 11 months. And if you look, you can see it's, it's holding up really nice with the polish. The enamel, the one shot of enamel shade, shaded composite actually has filled the defect really well. You can hardly see any delineation between the uh, tooth and the composite resin. And these are close-up photos and you still don't see any any difference between the tooth and the composite resin or very little. Um, the black background I put in place on this image to see, you know, can I see the delineation? And with the black background, yes, I can see a small amount, but not very much. And certainly when the black background's out of place and the patient's just talking to you, it just looks very natural and looks like there's nothing that's been done. And if you look at the lower one, you know, I generally don't do photos with the black background on the lower because it's just not practical. Uh, and if you look at this, this close up view of this lower restoration, I can hardly see it. I think it's a very successful restoration. It's held its luster really well and polish and polish really well. And um, I'm interested to see how it looks hopefully 10 years down the road if the patient doesn't move or something. As long as the patient's still in, in, in Oakville, I'm planning to take yearly interval photos and see how it looks. So that's my product review for Filtex Supreme Ultra. Um, as I said, it's an excellent composite. It can be used as a universal composite for many different types of restorations in your practice. I do recognize there are many different excellent composite resin systems on the market today. And I've had the opportunity to use quite a few of them. And this is one of my favorites. You know, this is the one that we're actually purchasing and using on a day-to-day basis basis in our practice. But um, if you like some of the other ones, you know, I think there's so many good ones. The manufacturers are really being generous with uh, to us these days with so many good products. So thank you for turning in to my video channel and I hope to see you again soon.